Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jeanette's Beauty World and I'm Jeanette. I'm here to talk about makeup, do makeup try-ons, do subscription box unboxings, mystery box unboxings, makeup hauls, whatever I can think of beauty-wise, subscription box-wise, and figure out how to film for you guys. Today I have my monthly journal junk box to share with you. This was part of the outer wrapping um, on the white box. They are in the process of rebranding, apparently. I've just got an email about it. So June 1st, things are going to be new. They're going to have new boxes um, and some exciting stuff coming our way. So if you want to see what's in, what month is this? April. If you want to see what's in the April journal junk box, keep on watching. All right, everybody, thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you're new here, welcome. So happy to have you. Consider watching till the end. Uh, consider subscribing before you leave. Hit the notification bell so YouTube lets you know when I post new videos. Be sure to give this video a like, dislike, leave a comment, whatever. Let me know what you think. And um, to my current subscribers, welcome back. So happy to see everybody here today. So my journal junk box for April. I'm filming this on the 6th. I'm going to try to get this up as soon as I can. And uh, it's a monthly subscription box. It is, where's my little notes? I, I have a cheat sheet here. Hang on. All right, I found it. So right now it's $39.95 a month. Uh, billed monthly for a 12-month commitment. And you do pay shipping, $9.95 a box. And if um, I believe you can still use code WELCOME10 to get 10% off your first box. If you do, if you decide you just want a six-month commitment, it's forty-two ninety-five, and a monthly no commitment is forty-four dollars per month, and all with the nine ninety-five shipping. And she has a journal junk sack, and then she has a junk sack bundle you can do also, which is a smaller, so you can get the sack for twenty-two ninety-five a month with a twelve-month commitment. All the way down to the month-to-month -month commitment is $26.95. And if you bundle them together, it's $71.95. Shipping is included if you do bundle both of those together. Um, yeah. And I think they have a kid's journal junk box now. But they're in the middle of rebranding, apparently. Starting June 1st, things are going to be ch changed a bit on their site. I don't know all the details yet. She just gave us a notification and let us know the box is going to be changing, the packages are going to be changing, things like that. So as soon as I know that, I'll let you know in a future Journal Junk Box unboxing video. I have been getting this box for a while, at least two years, I think. Um, I enjoy it. It's not makeup, but it has to do with journaling. And I do. she curates her boxes really well. So even though the price is high, it's all journaling stuff and she self-curates and everything is always very cute this is what it looks like when you open up the box i do like to share with my daughter she's gonna be 30 this month she is autistic um, but she enjoys the coloring and all that stuff still so a lot of times i'll share things from my boxes with her so inside we've got some a little card it says, my life is filled with purpose, passion, and endless possibilities. On the back, it says journaljunkbox.com. So that's cute. Then there's a thank you card with all of her socials on there. That's what the front of it looks like. And then, this just changed up recently. So this month is Vintage Coffee April. She gives us some journal prompts on here. Every month you get different journal prompts for writing in your journals. And then on the other side, there's a journal, April journaling tip, and what's in the box is there. So I do find it's easier for me to just show you what I get, and at the end, I'll show you show you what the prices are and everything, and total it up for you. So let's get into this. It says "Very Journal Babe" on the sticker. Everything's always wrapped really nicely. And we've got some uh, some of these little guys in here, these little peanuts. And let's start pulling things out. So first we've got some of these. Um, 
I forget what these are called. They're, I don't know if they're stickers or just little things you can tape into your journals. Um, so we'll find that at the end. But there's a bunch in here. When I go through and, and price everything for you. It doesn't, I don't know if they're stickers or not. But they're cute. They're little cups of coffee. Okay. Alright, so there's that. And then the next thing says, But First Coffee. And this is a look like a plaque. It's hard. It's wood. It says, um, Product for... Uh, sometimes these contacts, they're not the best for reading. Uh, but if I don't, if I wear my glasses, I can't put my makeup on. So... <laughs> Product for CWI Monthly Year Production from Cole House Signs, um, www.colehousedesigns.com. Okay, so this is, you can hang this. It's got these little guys on the back. I don't know if I, if I zoom in if you can see it better. Right there. So you can hang this on a wall. It's got two things there. Okay, so we back out. All right, so we got a little sign to hang on the wall somewhere. Cute, and it, like I said, it's it's. I think it's made of wood. Sounds like wood. Okay. Next, um, looks like oh we have some giant uh, paper clips with bows on them. They're cute. Yeah, it says these delightful embellishments are the perfect finishing touch for any project from Woodland Grove. Okay. Ooh, a little hiccup. Sorry about that. <laughs> then we have, it says Lopet Coffee Soft Bread. Um, it says black, 0.5 millimeter, four pieces. What is this? That's with the back. Looks like some Chinese writing, so I, I can't read it. Look at stationery. Let's see what we got. Oh, they're pens. And they got the little um, squishy things for your fingers. Let's take one off. Very nice. And I like this because I can use it for work. And let me just scribble on. Oh, it's got the little plastic doodad on the tip. Oh, yeah, writes nice. Here, I'm going to show you. <laughs> no, book there. Right there. So it's in black ink. So excellent. I always like to have new pens for work. This is great. It's kind of plastic, but it says coffee on there. And I like the clip. Okay, so a set of coffee pens, excellent. Coffee soft bread, that's interesting. <laughs> okay, so next we have, ooh, we've got a pair of scissors. So you all know I have a pair of scissors here that I keep on my desk that I use all the time that I received in a journal junk box a long time ago. And I use these all the time. So now we got another pair. Let me take it out of the bag for you. Look at that. So it's another small end here, but it's got wider for your fingers. And let's zoom in so you can see the little design on there. Hi. There's our little scissors. Fabulous. Okay. That's nice. I like to get scissors. We don't get them too often in the box. Like I said, we just got that one other one, but I use them all the time. So this says, um, let's see, you're just my cup of tea. It's supposed to be a coffee box and there's tea. Eh? Stash, cranberry, pomegranate, caffeine free. Comes with a little tea bag in it. So it looks like it's a card that's blank inside. 
Okay, so that's what the back looks like. So that's nice. A blank card, I, and, but it, it comes with its own cup of tea. Uh, <laughs> a little tea bag. So, yeah, you, you, you know I like to get my blank cards. I have my little collection up there. Um, so whenever I, I have an occasion, I just go in my stash of cards. And I have a lot of them are blank, so I can just make them my own. I feel like i got a piece of hair stuck in my mouth. All right, next, a jur it says journal junk on the back. Then there's the front that says give yourself time to grow. Well, that's cute. So you can see. All right. This is a paperback. And it's just a little notebook. Excellent. So that's cute. So we always, you always get some kind of a notebook, journal, you know, all different sizes, shapes. We've gotten spiral bounds, uh, hard covers. So this one is, you know, like, like a paperback, little paperback book. Okay. Very nice. Love that. And then, what is this? 36 Pages of Beautiful Things by Bo Bunny. It's got a hole in the top so you can put that like in a binder if you need to. Oh, it's got a plastic wrap on here. Oh, it's taped. That's what it is. Let's see if we can get that tape off. This one side. You can see what this is. 36 Pages of Something. Um, paper pad, uh, all right, let's put these stickers down, so let's, so these are just all different, all different pages, okay, like flowers, got some butterflies, pretty pest, Pest, pet, are they rainbow colors? There. Musical notes. So, yeah. So, you can use these for anything you want. You know, you can cut them out, make things with them, add them to your journals, add them to coloring books, whatever you want. They're just in a notebook of paper, different designs. Very cute. All right, let me just make sure we're empty. I think we're empty. Yep, we are empty, except for our little peanuts dudes. <laughs> all right, all right. So on this card that has um, all of the products, the journaling tip is about decorative paper backgrounds which is, this is what you can use these papers for. It says, did you know paper pads can be used to create backgrounds in your journal? So the simple steps, choose the paper that matches your theme, trim the paper to the journal page size, open the desired page and flatten the paper, use glue stick or tape evenly on paperback, and smooth the paper on the page and allow it to dry before journaling. Um, let's see, yeah. Okay, all right, so that's um, the journaling, April journaling tip. So let's go into how much all of this costs. The Vintage Flowers Journal by Journal Junk Box. This little guy, $14.99. And then the Coffee Beans Gel Pen Set. Our set of four pens are $10.99. Excellent. Beautiful Things Paper Pad. Assorted Collection is $12.99. And then the Bow Paper Clips by Maggie Holmes is $10.99. And then the Vintage Dragon Gold Mini Scissors are $11.65. This is a good, good, um, yeah, this is a good one. Uh, let's see, Afternoon Tea Sticker Pack. I guess, I guess that's this. So I guess they're stickers. Um, I thought they were cups of coffee, but afternoon tea sticker pack. Okay, so this, 
retails for it's a pack of 50 $8.99 so I guess there's stickers let me see let's see there must be a way to get the backs off you know usually you see a little slit somewhere I don't see anything well I'll have to play with it some more to see I'll have to play with it some more to see so let's continue on uh, the Beautiful Birds Tea Art Greeting Card by the Creative Idea Shop is $7.99. And then the Butt First Coffee Decorative Block is $8.99. So they call it a block. So you can just like stand this on your desk. But you can also hang it, like I said. So let me total this up for you. Alright, so I totaled everything up. And the total value of the eight items in this box is $87.00. And 58 cents per my calculations <laughs> all right and I did play with these stickers some more and yes they are indeed stickers I got it to come apart it wasn't easy but I did get it to come apart and we have 50 stickers all right so there's that okay so we figured that that out right <laughs> So, yeah, so her boxes are usually, it's usually about double, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. This time's a little more, so $39.99 doubled is $80, and we got it $87.58 value. I always think it's well worth it because the boxes are so well curated, so cute, and there's usually things either I or my daughter will use, so... And I have a lovely collection of cards and journals and notebooks. <laughs> and then cute little things like this that come with it. Sometimes you get cups. And I love my new scissors. I'm so excited to have new scissors. I'm going to put them right here next to the other scissors. So now I'll have both of them. Oh, I think this was from a journal junk box also. <laughs> so all, all of them are there. Uh, along with some assorted pens and things like that from previous boxes. So there's that. I always love little paper clips. Yeah, so this is great. All right, that's all I got for you guys. In case you're wondering what's on my eyes, you'll see it in a Get Ready With Me. If I haven't posted already, it'll be, be posting soon. So keep your eyes out for that. And I'll see you all in another video. Love you guys. Bye.